guys, I'm Anne Freimark and I'm the team programmer here at the Amy Sanders Library and today I'm going to show you how to make blood splattered Oreos. There's a few different ways you can do this. The first way, of course, is the easiest way and kind of a cop out if you ask me. Um, is just going to the grocery store and getting Oreos and red cookie icing. But if you want to be a little more elaborate and kind of get that darker red color a lot of the times that you can't always get with the icing, I'm going to show you a couple of different sauces to make. So the first one is very, very easy. All you do is take some strawberry or raspberry jam, some red food dye, and then you mix it all up in a bowl or a cup. And then you have this lovely dark gooey mixture. And you can just plop it right all over the place on your Oreos and make it go all over. The messier, the better, because of course, we want it to look like a splatter. Now, of course, if you do this way, you'll need to eat your Oreos very quickly, because otherwise they'll get soggy. The, nut, the other way to do it is by making the sauce using maple syrup, cornstarch, green food dye, red food dye, and of course, you'll need your Oreos. You'll also need a tablespoon and a teaspoon a fork for whiskey or a whisk, a bowl for all the mixing, and then a few other different ways to splatter your blood and your sauce on the Oreos. So the first thing you'll need is measure out your cornstarch. Which we will need three tablespoons of. So you just put that in your bowl. Perfect, just roughly that amount. And then you're going to want to add your food dye, which you'll need a teaspoon of. You'll also then need one or two drops of green, and this helps create that really dark red or blood. Next, you're going to need just a teaspoon of maple syrup. Then you're going to need a tablespoon of warm real quick. Alright, so once you've got everything in your bowl, you just take your fork or your whisk and you're just going to stir it all up. And this will probably get really messy. That's okay. Once you kind of get it, start mixing it up, you may find that you need a little more water. I think I'll go ahead and add a little more. And then of course, make sure your water is warm. This will help kind of mix everything together, get the syrup in there well. Our 
start seeing that sauce start to form really well and getting a nice red, deep red color in it. So once it's really, really well mixed, this is where the even messier part comes in. So there's a couple ways to do this. You can either take your pour and just literally splatter it on. It is going to be crazy, it is going to be messy. Um, another way you can do it is using, if you have pipettes at home, you can cut off the tip and that will also help you splatter some stuff on there. If you have a pastry brush, you can also use that. And then of course, messier the dump, better. if you're doing a lot of Oreos you can always do a bigger batch of the sauce and once you're done there you go you have a very gory looking Oreo and of course with Oreos I always recommend any, eating them as fast as possible mmm so very good very delicious and so now you have a couple of different ways to make a nice gory dessert. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this.